All right, and I'm sure we've got some more questions. I've not got any hands up yet. Right, Tom Barkley. I'm assuming this is for Mondays. And then Brian Owen, Ian Baker, and Darren Howard. Hi, Graham. Hi, Tom. Can I just ask you about the specific uh, incidents? Um, all three of them, really, the, the two goals they were disallowed and the penalty. Just your thoughts on all three uh, incidents. I'm not seeing the back, Tom. So I know that's a bit of a stock answer, but I haven't. Um, instinctively, I thought I thought it looked like a handball for the penalty, but I haven't watched it back. Um, and the offside ones felt tight to me. So again, it, it wouldn't surprise me if they were very, very tight. Um, like I said, uh, that's life. Sometimes it goes your way and it, it goes against you. I'm sure there'll be a time where it'll go against us. So, so at the moment we're ha we're happy, but we're not getting too carried away. We know we've had a, a bit of luck to, to to get the three points. Thanks, Graham. Darren. Hi, hi. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Paul. Hello, Graham. Uh, Mark Kukurea, um very composed on his home debut, and what's you must be impressed with how he's coped with his um, you know since he's started. He, he looks as though he's been in the team you know for 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 a couple of seasons the way he played. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I spoke before about his personality, about his character, how he's settled in. He's a, you know, top professional. He's played a lot of games in La Liga. Um, his attributes are there to see. I think he, he brings us some something different down that side. It means we can play solely on the on the right. Um, so it gives us a couple of options. You know, we lacked a bit of balance against Everton, and I think he provides that natural left left foot. Which which we missed when Solly was injured. So in lots of ways, he's he's a fantastic addition for us. Really good guy, and obviously it's uh, two wins out of two in the Premier League. I, I suppose, um, yeah, he's, maybe he's our lucky charm, but um, uh, he's, uh, he's 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 done really well. Great stuff. And just a quick one on Dan Byrne. Great to have him back, particularly with um, uh, Adam Webster struggling at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. He's worked hard to get back frustrated to be injured but uh, that's life and he's um, yeah we needed him to come on and just help us out Danny was tiring so um, we had to change things a little bit couldn't really um, yeah di didn't get to grips with it as well as we'd like but I think that's the quality that's congratulations to, it, to Leicester as well because they, they they played well when they when they got their goal so we had to hang on but Dan contributed to that and nice to see him on the pitch Thanks Darren uh, Brian Owen Yeah thanks Hi Graham Hi Brian I'm not the only person. In, I'm not the only person in the press box who thought we'd seen the end of Eve Suma at halftime. So, can you tell me a little bit about what he what he did to himself and how he managed to keep going? What the damage is? Well, uh, he was desperate to play and he felt like he could. Medical department were okay with it, so um, he wanted to try five ten minutes and see how it was. Um, he just extended his knee a little bit. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, as the game starts to go on. Brian, it's one of those that as it's getting more and more fatigue, then, then there might be a problem. That's why I decided to, to bring him off then. But he was desperate to go out and um, it was you know, a decision for the for the player and the medical department. I keep hearing people saying this as well, but was that a game you might not have won last season? Yeah, well, it feels that. I mean, I, 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 I've got to say um, whether that would have been a... a, a a last minute equaliser or you know whatever I mean we had some some pretty <clears throat> you know some big hard luck stories last mm. year and everybody yeah. then wants to know why you didn't take the points and why you're not winning and, and you can't really say well we've just been a bit unlucky and and I think I think the points we've got now I think we've done quite well we've done in terms of points tally really well performance I think we can still improve we've not been the massive dominant team in the games we've just had a, a you know the margins have gone our way and I think you need that in football um, so we're, we're obviously delighted with the start we've made uh, fantastic points tally but we've got another game on Wednesday and then we play uh, Crystal Palace on Monday so it's we're not we're not resting on anything OK well done today anyway thanks thank you thanks, thanks Brian, Brian. Uh, Ian hi Ian just un unmute <clears throat> I, um, hi Graham sorry I didn't hear that my name was mentioned but um, yeah just to just expand on that um Last question, really. Fans can afford to get a little bit carried away now because it's just some of the football was just great to watch, wasn't it? Well, fans are allowed to do whatever they want. You know, they can get carried away. They can 
do whatever, and, and that's it's great for us. I think the fans were were fantastic today. Really, uh, the atmosphere was was tremendous. I think they appreciated what the team were trying to do when we needed them. They were there. Uh, the atmosphere was was really special. So I think they can see a team that's trying, that's competing. Um, as I always say in the Premier League, every single game we play um, is is a fight, is a, is a difficult one, and we and we need our supporters. And they were they were amazing today. Well, I know it's only been a few games this season, but what do you put the the fine start down to? Is it is, is there something that's just clicked in the dressing room? I've said before, I, it, the longer you're with each other, the more you learn, the more you improve, <clears throat> the more you um, understand what you're trying to do. And then the bit that I think we all have to acknowledge is sometimes you're unlucky and sometimes you're lucky. And you, you do need that in life and in football. Um, but I thought today we we earned that because of the quality of our play. I thought um, we we earned to be 2-0 up. We we played with real bravery, real togetherness, real... There wasn't a, there wasn't a fear of the op- opponent. There was a respect. And I think when you're competitive like that, you've got a chance. Has that fear factor gone a bit? Whenever you win a game, it, it helps. But um, have you have you got a, a more fearless mentality than last season? Well, I just think we've just probably grown and matured as a team. And then it's like anything: if you get points, if you sat on zero points, the the atmosphere, the the the, the pressure, you, you guys in the media, you know, your questions are a little bit different. It all sorts of try to. We're all human beings. But if you sat now with twelve points, it's 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 a slightly different situation, and and you can be a little bit more uh, naturally more positive than maybe you would be, sub, you know, more subconsciously than anything. We, we've always tried to be brave. We've always tried to be uh, ambitious with our game. I don't think you can beat Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, take points off Chelsea if you haven't got an ambition in the game. But like I said, the margins are small in this league, and and you need them with you. Thanks, Ian. Uh... Robert Warlow. Hi, Graham. Um, I just wanted to ask you about, you, you talked about their last last season differences. How important is the experience of players like Adam Lallana, Danny Welbeck, Lewis Dunk, obviously, and, and all the players that have had that experience in the Premier League now, a growing year and on year? Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, that Danny and, and Adam were there last year, so was Lewis. Uh, I just think it's a, it's a collective. It's a... All of us have grown because that's the process. You know, you, you win, you lose, you succeed, you fail, you make mistakes, you get better. <clears throat> we've always had quite an open mind about 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 how to play and about what we're trying to do. And we've been clear about what we're trying to do. And the more we're together, the more, I suppose, you, you understand. But I keep repeating, we're not sitting here thinking we've cracked the game of football. Not, not, not at all. I think it's um, hard work, togetherness. Quality and a bit of luck. And just on Adam, obviously played played ninety minutes. I mean, that, that's something that in the past has perhaps been a bit of a struggle for him with the injury problems he's had. How is he feeling in terms of his fitness at the moment? Feeling really good. I mean, he's been built up well. Uh, it's his second back to back ninety minutes. Trains well. Uh, looks after himself in the week and gives himself a chance to play. So delighted with that. Thank you. <coughs> um, Andy Dana, I have promoted you, but I'm not sure if you had your hand up or not. So. Hi, Graham. Hi, Andy. Um, in the previous home game here, you yeah. had what I think most people would regard it as a step up in opposition. Everton, with great respect to all the other sides you'd beaten. Yeah. And on that particular occasion, you fell short. Mm. This was different. So so how much of I mean, it's the first time you've beaten Leicester in the Premier League. They're obviously a quality side. So how much is that a bit of a breakthrough and, if you like, further evidence of progression? Well, I think it's again. It, it's a bit of a. It's always a process, Andy. We we you know you, you, we we lost Solly after the Watford game, so we we lost that natural left footer. That that so we were, we lost a bit of balance. Didn't attack the back line against Everton very well. Uh, Danny wasn't up to playing. So sometimes you have to do your best with what you have. And um, we weren't quite. Well, I don't think we were terrible. We just we just weren't good enough to be a, a strong Everton team. And um, as we've always done, you, you you have to just analyse it, be honest, uh, learn from what's happened, and then try to set up in a better way, a different way, that gives you more of a chance in the game. Um, and, I, and I hope as a sign of progression, because I think, mm-hmm. like I said, we've beaten you know quite a lot of the top teams, which means we've we've got ambition in terms of how we want to play. 
uh, the, 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 the challenge for us last year was to take points about the teams that were so-called around us, which we've done better this year so far. But again, it's not from complete dominance. It was from playing well, surviving, not being perfect, dealing with it not being perfect, being okay with it not being perfect, seeing the difficult moments out and just trying to get the result at the end. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, everyone. See you on Tuesday. Thank you.